Welcome to the Engagement Organizer video series. In this video, we'll discuss uploading files from a client perspective. When the CPA firm creates an organizer, they must assign a client user. Once assigned, the client will get an email telling them that an organizer has been created, giving them the URL to access the organizer, and also providing the user ID. For the client to log in, they simply click on the link, type in their email, and if this is the first time they've logged in, they'll log in with a temporary password and they'll be asked to change that password. In this instance, I've already logged in previously from the client side, so I'm going to enter my password. And as part of uh, multi-factor authentication, I will be sent a verification code via email. So I'm going to go back to the email. I'm going to go ahead and highlight my verification code, or you can just simply remember that. Come over here and type it in. And I'm going to verify my identity. Once the client has logged in, they'll see the various organizers that they have access to. Typically, the firm will only have one organizer, so they'll only see one in that list. And now the client can go and they can actually start adding files to the organizer. For example, I've requested the trial balance. So they can come over here, they can add a note, they can add the attachments. Attachments can be added uh, either one at a time or they can be added in batch. They can simply browse out to find the trial balance, select to upload, and now I could go through the list and the client could continue to add the various work papers that the CPA firm has requested.